Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. A leading economist has rolled her eyes at an infectious diseases expert during a lively debate about Australia's response to the COVID pandemic. Professor Gigi Foster, from the School of Economics at UNSW, made no effort to hide her displease at Associate Professor Sanjaya Senanayake's comments during a panel discussion on 7 News Spotlight on Sunday night. The panel discussion featured Sydney GP Karen Phelps, infectious diseases pediatrician Professor Robert Bowie and former Queensland Premier Anastasia Palasuk along with an often vocal live audience. Professor Senanayake, an academic from the ANU School of Medicine and Psychology, said the drastic lockdown measures stopped people from dying. He conceded that stricter rules could have been enforced when hotel quarantine was introduced for domestic and international travelers after Australia first went into lockdown in March 2020. When we locked down Australia, we should have made sure that hotel quarantine was impenetrable, he explained. If you look at the Victorian report, it looks like the hotel quarantine, the policy was from conception to inception, it was just a couple of days. Professor Senanayek said that was an invaluable lesson, which needs to be learned to be better prepared for a future pandemic. It was at this point Professor Foster rolled her eyes. Professor Foster said the lockdown measures failed because she claimed it was a mass one-size-fits-all policy. We have failed to protect the most vulnerable, she said. It was lives against lives. It's always lives against lives and lives are what matters, quality lives, length of lives, number of lives. She said Aussies were let down by the way the outbreaks of the disease were handled. The more we put in people and authority, bureaucracies, which are unaccountable to the people and unelected, the worst outcomes we are going to get. A mandatory 14-day hotel quarantine rule was introduced for all international arrivals into Australia in late March 2020. The public health measure, which was instituted by the then Scott Morrison government, kept the number of cases at a low rate during the first 18 months of the pandemic. States and territories also instituted hotel quarantine protocols for interstate travelers. Ms. Palasuk said even though hotel quarantine was not popular at the time, the move stopped people from getting infected. I did hotel quarantine myself and it was not good, she conceded. At the time it was the best answer in terms of what we could do in terms of the longevity of the virus and to contain it. She defended the move by saying the decision was made in consultation with chief health officers from each state and territory. Ms. Palasuk, who closed off the Queensland border several times during the height of the pandemic, said lockdowns were necessary to fight the virus. Professor Foster rejected her assertion that the measure was effective. People's quality of life has suffered and also the direct mental health cost of the lockdowns and the crowded out healthcare that's been killing more people, she said. We've lost tens of thousands more people since mid-2021 than we should have. One of the reasons could be delayed effects of lockdown. Professor Foster also said there were other coronaviruses that happened before the COVID pandemic, which she said helped people develop better immunity. Professor Bowie was left shaking his head at the suggestion and said COVID-19 was a completely different virus. This was a virus that went around the world and killed probably over 20 million people, he said. The excess death rate in Australia was about 20,000 in 2022 when we opened up the borders, even though we had very high vaccination rates. This is a serious virus. Dr. Phelps said COVID has not gone away and said public health responses during a future health crisis needs to be better. The problem was we went from these quite draconian measures to nothing other than vaccines, she said. The vaccines approach isn't working and we need to revisit that. 